to assume the castle. Okay. <laughs> I just don't know where we're going, period. <laughs> That's fair. This is the part of the game where there's a little bit more open exploration. And then just these annoying berserkers who keep showing up. How you guys doing? Have you, have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about her? Question indeed. The end price here is free, apparently. Very clear. Oh, okay, so these things are just for the Mognet, which is for the 3D remake. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. well, I guess if nothing else, free in. <laughs> we can take Desh back to um, the person who deserves better. that one town. Yeah, honestly, though. Yeah, they want their asses handed to them. Well, you know what? Fair. I, I enjoyed getting my ass handed to me by Nagama. the boulder. Uh, 
the town below the mountains, but I don't know. How is, uh, yeah, the, the Somnium files? Like, without spoilers, how's it going? <laughs> About as well as any other game that Uchikoshi makes. <laughs> um... It's... Essentially, the main thing is that... Uchikoshi likes to make games that have obviously some several branching paths. Mm-hmm. And what like in a way the way that he makes the decision for branching paths. Oh hey. Uh you wanna do Serena since I've got Dash? Dash I'm sorry. There's uh there's something I must do. Really? Alright. Yeah. Um, Listen, a man's gotta be a man. <laughs> okay, I I'll be waiting, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, babe. You're the best. <laughs> He's the uh... Hey, you're Dash. <laughs> uh, n no, you must be mistaking me for someone. This is definitely, definitely not me. I'm. Uh, I'm Hesh. <laughs> yes, I'm. I'm Hesed. Okay. Oops. But yeah, so Somnium Files is like... Uh... Somnium Files is like... Uchikoshi games basically, you know, you, you make certain assumptions on how the decisions are made and how you find the routes. And based on, like, other visual novels that you may have played. And while they have some bearing in those choices, it's not that's not the choice that matters, essentially. And this game is very much the same, where it's like, the parts that you expect to be what changes the route are not the parts that change the route. And of course, like I said, it's multiple, you know, multiple routes that you can take, but also... It, I would say that it's a little bit more open and a little less frustrating than the Zero Escape games. Because there's not quite as many, like, blocked routes as, like, Virtue's Last Reward, for mm -hmm. uh, uh, Virtue's Last Reward is probably the most frustrating out of the Zero Escape series, just because, like, there's a lot of backtracking and a lot of route switching. Yeah, I was never a fan of, you... like, visual novels, but have locked routes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it really frustrated I mean, me that the letter did that. Like, you couldn't get the true ending until you did an all-death run first. Yeah. Well, or rather, you needed to get all the memory fragments, and the quickest way to get the true ending was to do an all-death run first. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Because I know that you to do the Zero Escape series, if I remember correctly, because... Uh, I think someone in the group prior to me was wanting to do it. Hmm, that's a whirlpool. Maybe... Maybe... Okay. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. <laughs> that's... Oh, it just won't let us pass. That's, that's disappointing. I wanted yeah. to die. Tower of Owen. Froggies! Alright. Ah, yes, this is probably what Marco was talking about with the toad thing. I got the guide, don't worry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... I always have the guide up. Let's just say that. I just don't always look, look at it because the game is so far been very straightforward. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we have the spell toad yet. No, we don't. Do we? Nope. 
Alright, perfectly fine dying. We're close to the end of the stream anyway. Yeah, and plus we saved, so... Yeah, because I think we were... I mean, it's it's a good opportunity to just go and explore. Yeah, I Why just not? wanna... I, I wanna see what happens when we're just flopping about everywhere. Yeah. God, I love how <laughs> I love how they did Toad in the remake. <laughs> in Final Fantasy Remake. Uh oh. Uh, if I remember right, the King of Argus knows the secret of airships. I heard it in Canaan. Like it did you? Did you know? Yeah, like in the remake, it doesn't like disable you. You can still fight as a like completely controlling fight as a frog, and someone beat the nice. final boss with everyone just as fl frogs. <laughs> Honestly, that's blessed. Can we talk to these guys, or are they just change us? They just they just go ribbit. Dog. Bunch of cocos everywhere. Yeah, right now we are two areas ahead of ourselves. Nice. Because <laughs> we skipped over the Village of the Ancients and uh, another place, which is where we learned the Spell Toad. <laughs> so it's fine. It's fine. But, uh, yeah, no, like... It's it's going fine. Um, I spoiled myself on AI the Somnium files a little bit because I absolutely just had something because <laughs> I was in complete disbelief when it like the first leg of it showed up in the stream that I was just like there's there's no possible way I cannot believe that this is happening because I thought I was I was pretty correct in my assumptions <laughs> and always funny when. Both Zach and I are right for different reasons. <laughs> like, we're right on the concept, but we're wrong in the execution. Okay, do we dive in? No way! Only a frog could make it in there. We have like 15 people in this party. <laughs> we really do. Just because we never, like, established, like, voices and because <laughs> there was specification on who's saying what. And I think that's honestly just gonna stay true until the end of the series and we're just gonna come up with a different voice every time we talk mm -hmm, as the player mm -hmm, characters. Mm -hmm. Cause... Dahlia, Johnny, <laughs> Binks, and Kimi are just possessed by, like, seven ghosts each. Speaking of ghosts... <laughs> <laughs> In about an hour, I'll be playing Phasmophobia, just uh, looking for people to play with. <laughs> so far, I've got one person to play with. <laughs> well, that's enough people to spit roast a ghost. This is true. That's enough people to get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> well, nothing more here, I guess. <laughs> uh, anything else on this continent? I know that there's a chocobo oh. woods somewhere. Like, we, we have act, but... These might kill us. Let's see. Eh, that's not too bad. No, definitely not too bad. God damn it, Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Somnium Files has been fine. It's been fun. I would definitely say we're still nowhere at the end, but like, we're probably percent there. Chocobo Forest? No. <laughs> what is this cave? Ooh. That looks spooky. Is that Leviathan? Maybe. Gurgan Valley. 
All right, so now we're getting closer to where we need to be. <laughs> um, I have no idea what voice to do for this guy. So, uh, um, uh, uh. This is the Valley of the Gorgons. <laughs> Gorgons? Wait, no, wrong game. You must go to the crystals of fire, water, and earth. Then you will gain even greater power. Minor compared to the darkness we choose to copy. I can see neither light nor dark in the future. It is all unclear. The forest is calling you. I can see neither light nor dark in the future. It is all unclear. If people knew the future, it would only bring them sadness. When the tower emits a red flame, it is about to fall. At that time, a man who is to alter fate shall awaken. the light of the other three crystals and its own as well? Well then. Echo herb is to cure mute, right? I think that's what it does. I think so. Mm, I guess we can get rid of... Mm, I guess we can get rid of... Uh, I don't know. Let's get rid of this dagger. Mega clip of this, or as it's officially called, a highlight. <laughs> <laughs> Toad, I believe, is black magic. I think so. Uh... No, it's white magic. The dot is white. Oh, okay. Yep, so now we have Toad and Minnie. me because I have voice mod <laughs> and I forgot that I have voice mod so I just started using it. <laughs> Why not? It's the perfect opportunity to use it. Yep. Because I remembered when I was doing uh, the Leviathan's voice, Nepto's voice, that oh yeah, I have a voice mod. I could have just thrown that on to be Nepto. It's Binx's destiny to become Toad. I mean, that's not Dash. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Also, what was funny, um, yesterday is because, unfortunately, I, uh, couldn't get Slime Rancher to work for Leaf, so instead, Leaf watched the first two episodes of the Deke Dub of Sailor Moon. <laughs> so that's on my channel now. <laughs> huh, I didn't realize you could watch anime on Twitch. Like, Shh. <laughs> secret, secret tunnel! But yeah, no. Um, it's because Zach a while ago provided a link to a master list of like all of the Beak dubbed episodes for Sailor Moon, which goes all the way until the Wicked Lady arc. Uh,. So yeah, <laughs> I was just like, well, I guess we're gonna watch this, and if we get in trouble, we get in trouble. <laughs> also, Moon has been fed and watered. Good. Well, just in time for the stream to end. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Idea because I'm not currently watching. Can anyone hear Coco? <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for chat to catch up. <laughs> nope. No one can hear Coco. <laughs> so it's just me. Mm-hmm. There we go. Alrighty. There we go. So, thank you everyone for coming to this stream, and, uh, you said you're not sure what you'll be, uh, doing? Or what you got planned? Uh, no, I, I know what I've got planned. Um, so, later today, uh, in about half an hour, Leaf is going to be streaming Phasmophobia. We don't know with who yet. So far, Hales has been the only one to respond. Um... So, yeah, I don't know who's going to be joining for that. Um, then on Friday, Leaf is going to be streaming at somewhere between 4 and 6. Uh, don't know what game they'll be streaming. Maybe if we can get it to work, Amo uh, but, 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 not Among Us, um, Slime Rancher? If I can't get it to work, I don't know. Uh, and then on Sunday, we have Hades at 2 p.m. here, which is 5 p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. And then after that on my channel is Hollow Knight at 7 p.m. Eastern. Mm -hmm. And then I'll be here on, you know, Monday, streaming Subnautica if everything works out. And then Tuesdays I do AI of the Somnium Files at 7.30 p.m. And in between that, all streams are random and just look out for, you know, tweets about it. Yeah. Uh, what about four pixels? <laughs> so <laughs> Thursday and Friday... Kime will be streaming Death Stranding at 8 p.m. EST. Possibly also Amnesia, since she feels like she's close to the end of the game. Uh, Saturday at 1 p.m. EST, Kime Konetsu and I might be starting Ultra Despair Girls. Still waiting to hear from Konetsu if she's going to be able to do that. Sunday at 3 p.m. EST is Mother One with myself, Kiyadane, and Ray. Followed by Hades with myself and Leifley at 5 p.m. EST. And then I hop over and join Leifley at their channel uh, to continue Hollow Knight at 7 p.m. EST. 
Yeah. And let's... then, yeah, Monday is Tori, 8 p.m. EST for Subnautica. Tuesday, 8 p.m. EST is Moon with Bug Fables, and we return to Fridays. Um, Moon and I might be trying uh, Dark Cloud next. I don't know, Moon, are you, uh, are you ready? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. We don't know for sure if, like, the setup that we've created is going to work perfectly, but we wanted to give it a shot before just deciding to LP it. But yeah, um, Moon and I might be starting shortly in a... Alright, Moon is fully ready, so see you folks in a bit. Bye! Bye-bye!